here we have a current. This is a black current. We also have red currents and some white currents. The red currents are um, a different, uh, slower, to, a little bit slower to come into leaf. And uh, last year we had potatoes in our ridges over here. Uh, we have some uh, turnips, uh, which we got turnip greens through the winter time. And really great uh, produce and so, so, so good to eat. Over here we have uh, another um, a black current. And you'll see the pollinators, I think, coming to this one at the moment. And you even can see where the fruit are. I believe they're starting to form. They've been pollinated, some of them. So over here we have our um, well, another black current. And uh, these are extremely, they're very, very easy to grow in Ireland. And uh, you simply take a, a cotton slice it stick it into the ground at the right time of the year in the back end usually and it will grow with any look at all um, and a wonderful fruit on it over uh, head we have uh, a cherry uh, I, if I, my memory is correct i think this particular one's a stella cherry and uh, it does produce beautiful cherries but the <laughs> The problem is we don't get to eat too many. The birds usually get them before we get to them. Um, uh, uh, here we have some uh, pears. Uh, this particular one is a typical enough one for that's that's in Ireland. It's the conference pear. You see the little pear pearlets that's formed. I don't know if you can see that particular one right here. Perhaps not, there we go. And um, it's very, very productive, but we also have a couple of other pairs, like uh, over here you can see, I'll point them out. Uh, this one here is, a, I think it's a Belgian pair. It's a, I'm not sure about my pronunciation, but Derendo. And a couple of those, and they are on quince rootstocks. <laughs> and beyond that, is uh, another apple tree and we have a plum. Then we have several cooker pears that's uh, Cadillac and uh, Black Worcester. And uh, of course then we have our uh, raspberries. And, um, <coughs> different uh, um, jostaberries mixed in over there also. And I don't know if we can we'll just show you from the distance in our, in our, we're providing a, trying to produce a shelter belt from to the east of uh, pine and uh, close to us are hazelnuts. So uh, between the two of them, they'll produce like a, we hope, a shelter belt for our fruit trees. And on this particular, on the western side, we're doing uh, some uh, holly. Here we have... Um, Garlic that we have going underneath a tree, uh, a lime tree. Uh, not to be confused with the lime tree that you would know in the supermarket as a fruit tree, but the lime tree, which actually you can eat the uh, leaves when they come out a little bit later on. Uh, some of them are starting to come out now, actually. And um, here we have um, another fruit. It's um, aronia. So that produces a kind of a black purple uh, fruit on it later on. And um, we have absolutely no problem with uh, having uh, raspberries. Uh, they're a fantastic crop in Ireland uh, and they're very, very reliable. Uh, you can get fruit pretty much all the way up to Christmas almost. Uh, on on them uh, variety there is a common one autumn bliss I believe and um, uh, they will only if you want to call it a problem is they will self seed themselves or self sow themselves through their roots so but it's no problem we have yet to mow this area so that's why the, there is long grass you can see the 
a good number of dandelions in here and uh, of course there's multiple health benefits in, in dandelions and you can I believe you can deep fry the flowers a little bit of extra information there for you and they're supposed to be good I haven't tried it but so they say and uh, that's one of our pear trees that have taken a hit during the winter time but it has a great crop on it you can see here you can see the little uh, fruitlets that have already started to form as I said this is the 26th of April and you can see these little fruitlets that are right here and uh, that is um, a wonderful cooking pear and they will keep for a long long time and uh, again I'll show you talked about our hay so we have a row of these going along here you can have that sure and uh, I'll drop the berries did some transplants of some of our gooseberries in the this year and we we're trying to line them up and an attempt to keep the weeds down is to put the cardboard down uh, to just to slow the progression of the weeds maybe we can mulch it uh, later on but uh, it's also because of the weather that we've had this year up, uh, and in particular in April it's been very very good beautiful weather and you can see how dry the ground is, if I can take an example, um, these are the, like the, we actually water these and it's still dry, uh, so pretty amazing for, for uh, Ireland, especially the west of Ireland. These uh, are our grapes which you saw in the previous video that we've trained, trained them, planted them on the outside and uh, they're going trained to go inside. And uh, hopefully we'll get the grapes growing inside. And um, uh, yeah, that's about it. So thank you for joining us and have a wonderful day.